The Amazon is one of the most intriguing places in the world, populated by some of the Earth's most dangerous animals. And many of them are true behemoths, really big and monstrously chunky boys. Let's take a look, shall we? These are the largest creatures found in the Amazon. 5. Capybara The capybara, which is native to regions across South America, is the largest species of rodent on the planet. They're closely related to guinea pigs and chinchillas, but have some important differences. They are effective swimmers and spend most of their time either in or next to the water. They have webbed feet to allow them to quickly move towards food or away from threats, and their faces have evolved to allow them to see and breathe while they're swimming. This also means that while they can hold their breath and dive for up to five minutes, capybara are often found asleep in the Amazon River, with just their noses emerging above the water's surface. Similar to other rodents, capybara are highly social animals and typically congregate in groups of between 10 and 20 individuals. On some occasions, colonies of as many as 100 have been found, which proves to be highly destructive for the surrounding area. Each one can grow to over four feet long and can weigh as much as 146 pounds. They're quite picky herbivores, selecting only the best plants, fruits, and tree barks to feed on. And they also regularly eat their own feces, which provide a useful source of bacteria for their gut. As they exist in such large numbers and can live near virtually any water sources, capybara aren't considered to be at risk. They are, however, regularly hunted by locals for their meat and hides and are highly sought after by pharmaceutical companies because of the grease that can be extracted from their skin. Capybara can be seen in many zoos around the world and are occasionally kept as pets. Even though they're fairly tame and friendly creatures, this practice isn't great for them because they live in such large social groups in the wild and they can also pose a health risk to humans as the ticks that live on them can be a carrier of Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Now it's time for the rear topic. Snakes are already kind of creepy, even when they're normal sized. So witnessing one of truly gargantuan proportions can be horribly unsettling and they come no more gargantuan than this one. This photo has been doing the internet rounds for a while but it's always worth discussing again because the sheer scale of it is horrifying. Snapped from a helicopter, this photo seems to show a Loch Ness monster-sized snake or eel darting through an Amazon river. Some people have suspected this is a fake, but what do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag rear topic, and we might pin the comment that best explains what's been shown on this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number four, Titan beetle. This is a titan beetle, and rather than being a species of cockroach like it's often mistaken for, it's one of the largest species of beetle in the world. They're a type of longhorn beetle, can grow to up to 6.6 .6 inches long, and they have mandibles that are so powerful that they can snap a pencil. Titan beetles are rare to find though. They live in the hot and humid regions near the equator, but specifically where there's a lot of hard wooded trees like there is in the Amazon rainforest. This is because their larvae are thought to feed exclusively on wood and their life cycle is so dependent on it as a food source that their numbers are being severely affected by deforestation. The pupae of the titan beetle have never been seen and are thought to reach maturity within root networks beneath the ground. It's thought that they take many years before growing large enough to turn into adult beetles. There's a good reason why they have to store so much energy before they become a titan beetle though and that's because once they reach their adult phase they don't eat anything at all. Despite having mandibles capable of tearing flesh, these monster insects' only instinct is to fly around and look for a mate. Their bites are instead reserved for use as a defensive tactic, which they only deploy if their initial attempts at hissing fail. The trade in titan beetles because of their incredible size is a thriving industry in the Amazon. A fully formed adult can sell for as much as $500 to collectors, but this is actually thought to be helping to conserve them. Because they sell for such amounts and because they require good quality wood to grow, the people who track and catch them are able to more effectively protect their habitats. Number 3. Amazonian Manatee Largest Mammal If you were to guess what the largest mammal living in the Amazon is, then you might go for a species of monkey or perhaps even a jaguar. But both would be wrong because it is, in fact, the Amazonian Manatee. These graceful creatures live in the freshwater regions of the Amazon River and its tributaries and are only one of four aquatic species of mammal that only eat plants, the others being the other two types of manatee and the closely related dugong. They're cylindrical shaped animals that can be up to seven and a half feet long and weigh as much as 600 pounds in the wild. In the relative safety of captivity though, 
they can get even bigger, with the largest one on record weighing in at an incredible 836 pounds, which is about the same as a large motorcycle. Their forearms have developed to become large, powerful flippers, and they're the only type of manatee that don't have nails on these flippers. They don't have any hind limbs, and the rear part of their body is instead shaped like a large flat paddle that can be used to propel themselves along. Their lips have a surprising amount of control to allow them to get every last piece of food, and they can move each side of their mouth completely independent to the other. Furthermore, they have what are called polyphyodont teeth, and are the only mammals to have this adaptation. It means that their teeth are continuously replaced throughout their lives, and there's no limit to how often this can happen. It's a good job too, because manatees consume as much as 8% of their body weight each day. In particular, they love to eat water hyacinths and palm fruits that have fallen into the water, but they'll also target lilies, grasses, hornworts, and bladderworts. Most of what we know about Amazonian manatees comes from observation of them in captivity. They have been documented diving for up to 14 minutes, for example, although usually come up to breathe every five minutes or so. Unlike other aquatic animals, they have nostrils instead of a blowhole, and these will close while they're underwater and open when they're on the surface. A large proportion of their body mass is made up of fat, and this serves the vital function of keeping their body temperature relatively stable, no matter how much the conditions in the environment change. It's also essential for during the dry season when the Amazonian manatees are virtually forced to fast because of the lack of food available to them. These fat reserves and their low metabolic rates enable them to survive for up to seven months without eating, but they'll definitely make up for that when the food returns. Number two, Harpy Eagle. Named after the wind spirits from ancient Greek mythology, the harpy eagle is the largest and strongest species of raptor found in the Amazon rainforest. They'll often be seen chasing after parrots and other birds in the canopies, and hunt tree-dwelling mammals such as sloths and monkeys. They have no natural predators, so the only thing that risks harpy eagle populations is human activity. Deforestation across Central America has virtually wiped them out, and the knock-on effect that also reduces population numbers of their prey means that any eagles that have managed to survive struggle to find adequate food sources. They're so big that their talons can be the same size as the claws of a brown bear, and on average they weigh as much as 22 pounds. Surprisingly, for such a large bird, their wingspan is around 7 feet. While this may sound big, it's actually less than is seen in other eagle species around the world but this is believed to be an adaptation that allows them to navigate the dense canopy of the rainforest more effectively. They tend to hunt by waiting on a perch, scanning the area, and pouncing on prey when it's most vulnerable, so the best place to spot their grey, black, and white plumage is in the forest canopy. They build their nests high up too, and will usually pick the tallest places to settle in, like the Brazil nut and kapok trees. In Amazonian cultures, it's often viewed as being unlucky to fell a kapok tree because it may disturb nesting harpy eagles, which are seen as important spirits within the forest. Number one, South American Goliath bird eater. The Amazon is known for being the home of some truly terrifying creatures, but there's one that's both frightening and simply massive. The South American Goliath bird eater. It belongs to the tarantula family of spiders and is the biggest spider species in the world based on its size and weight. Despite the name, they rarely prey on birds, but they have been documented feeding on small species like hummingbirds. They're opportunistic feeders and more commonly hunt worms, frogs, toads, lizards, and snakes. Goliath bird eaters can grow to have a body up to 5 inches long, a leg span of 12 inches, and can weigh as much as 6 ounces. It's described by scientists as having the leg span similar to the size of a child's forearm and the body the size of a large fist and the overall weight and size of a small puppy. It's so big that as a result of the toughened tips and claws, it makes a distinctive sound as it's walking across the rainforest floor, often described as being similar to a quieter version of horse's hoofs. They're native across South America where they live in underground burrows in marshy areas and come out to hunt at night. They're a popular local delicacy where they're cooked in banana leaves and supposedly taste like shrimp, but you need to be careful approaching one if you ever decide you want to. They can make sounds by rubbing bristles together on their legs, and they can release urticating hairs that cause severe reactions to the skin and can be very harmful if they're inhaled. They have huge fangs too, which can measure up to 1.6 inches long. This is easily enough to puncture the skin of a human, but luckily they'll only bite a person if they feel threatened. They do produce venom that can be injected during a bite, and if you're unfortunate to experience this, it's said to be like having a nail driven through your hand. 
Goliath bird eaters are rare to encounter in a forest because they're nocturnal and tend to keep leaf debris around trees, but they aren't currently regarded as being endangered and it's thought there are many thousands of them in the undergrowth.